kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim welcome back to my channel and so guys in this video I am going to teach you how you can create your uh, spin a wheel game or the roulette game in Android studio alright guys so here I will first of all show you the demo of how this uh, the app will look like and then I will be we will start the tutorial so here you we open the app and after you will open you will see this kind of uh, wheel and here if you click on play so you will see that uh, it is now scrolling and after this you will be able to select a value and it will be random so there you can see zero is displayed so if i click on play again so this time you can see 18 is shown so i will be i will be teaching you on how you can create your own so first of all i want to show you the demo and uh, i mean the library which we will be using so it is the lucky wheel android uh, library and it is a very easy library for you to integrate in your applications and here we will click on implementation here and let me click on build.gradle I will click here and we will click on synchronize and make sure that you have uh, this gitpack.io here inside your maven repositories and after you have successfully um, integrated the library then here we, you can see we already have this project and we have the main activity and here inside our XML activity we have to write a view so it will be lucky wheel and for the width and height let it we specify to be 250 dp and the height will also be the 250 dp and then we can say center in parent we want to be it at the center of the screen and then we say background color so for this background color and it will be color primary and as you can see we have got this and then we can say like the id of it to be lucky wheel all right so that's how our xml will look like so basically after we uh, are here then we need to have a button so we place a button here and we say it to be match parent and wrap content then we set it to be below lucky wheel so it will be below and we have to specify the margin top and it will be 20 dp and we set the text to be play and we set text color it will be and the background color will be color primary all right and text style it will be bold and text size it will be 24 sp okay so now we have the uh, we have the layout ready so here in our main activity dot java file first of all we will say like lucky wheel and we have to import the and then after this we have to bind it to the view so for this we can say lucky wheel equal to find view by id and we can say r dot id dot lucky wheel and then here first of all we have to add an array list so we will be adding all the data inside that array list so for this we can say list of wheel item and we have wheel item list equal to new array list and then we will be adding this wheel item list the data to it so here uh, how we can do that so we can sell we can say it like wheel item list dot add and inside this we can okay or there's another thing which we can do we have uh, wheel uh, wheel item 
so we can say wheel item one equal to new wheel item and here we have to specify first of all the uh, color okay so we first of all have to specify the color then we have to specify the icon and the text okay so here we can first of all say for the uh, color we can say resources compact resources compact compact dot get color and here we will say get resources then we will say r dot color dot color suppose color accent then we have to specify the theme to be it will be null let me just make it here Af uh, after we make it to null then we have to specify the bitmap or the icon so here i have this the icon so let me show you where it is so here i have this uh, coin icon so i will just copy it and paste it in my driver so you can also have your own uh, icon of the coin so i am just importing it so then here we can simply say bitmap sorry bitmap factory dot decode resource and then here we have to specify the get resources and then r dot drivable dot coin and then we just have to specify the text so it will be suppose zero and similarly for every item we have to add so here let me add this three four five six seven suppose we have seven so here we will say zero then we will say 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 then here we will have 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 all right and for the color we can suppose say it to be color accent then it will be color primary then then color accent and then color primary similarly for every color so after we have all these th here and then we can simply say it to be lucky wheel dot add wheel items and here we okay so after we have this so we have to add them also so we have to add them to the array list so here we can say wheel item list dot add and here we will add the wheel item one similarly for the wheel list here we will add wheel item two then here we will add wheel item three then we will add the wheel item 4 similarly for all the other ones and then for it to be 7 and finally we will add the wheel item list to this add wheel method okay then after this we have to use a listener so whenever the wheel will stop so we have to display the answer so for this we can say it to be lucky wheel dot set lucky wheel reach the target new on lucky wheel reach the target and here inside our own reach on reach the target we have to specify uh, we have to fetch it so for this we can say wheel item and we can say item selected and it will be wheel 
items list dot get and here we will say integer dot parse int and here we will have to specify the points so I we will initialize it and we can say minus one so here we will have the points here so we can say string points and then here we can say string points amount it will be item selected dot text okay and then finally we can print a toast message like main activity dot this and here we can say points amount and we can print it all right guys so that was it but we have to now click uh, implement the on click event so whenever we will click on the button so it will start but before this okay then here what we can do is we can specify a method public void button click and we can say view so here we can say copy and we just say it to be on click and paste it here so after this we can here now say like random random equal to new random so we have to specify a new random number so for this we can say points equal to string dot value of and here we can say random dot next int and then we have to specify 10 all right and then we can check if points dot equals zero and we can say points equal to string dot value of one all right and finally we have to rotate the wheel so we can say lucky wheel dot rotate wheel two and it will be to the number we can say integer dot parse int and here we will specify points all right guys so that's how it will work so if we run it so you will be able to see and the spin the wheel and this roulette game so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel and before that let me show you the output so here you will be able to see this and after you specify uh, you click on play so every time it will be here and you will see five it's shown so guys do like and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye